Hey guys, so I finally bought something I've always wanted to buy. Uh, I got a really good deal on a three-phase motor. And before I get too far involved talking about the motor, uh, this video is for information, demonstration, and educational purposes only. It's a uh, it's something I don't recommend just anybody doing. But if you're an electrician or have an experience with motors and stuff, this is some things that you can do. There's going to be a a little mini series on three phase motors here you see this motor's kind of beat up and everything but it's actually brand new i got it off ebay it's like a surplus sale it's a it's a dayton five horsepower three phase motor and it can be ran off of uh it says 230 slash 460 which is you know, it's the same as 240 or 480 but we're gonna be running off 240. it's a 1755 rpm at uh, 60 hertz 1430 rpm at 50 hertz and uh it, like i said it's a five horsepower it's a farm duty motor uh, made for continuous duty and uh i bought it just to make some videos on more or less it's just something i've always had a strong interest in ever since i went to through the electrician class and uh so like i briefly talked about we're going to be uh running this off single phase power so i got 220 or 240 hooked up here and it's the, going into two of the three phases. One phase is left open. So right now, if I turn this on, let me just show you how it's hooked up first. So I got it hooked into my disconnect here, just running off 220. So right now, if I turn it on, it's going to spin real slow, but it's not going to take off the way it should. It's just going to sit here and hum. <laughs> And as you can see, it's trying to spin, but it's never going to get past that. So there's no point in trying to, you don't want to wait for it to try to speed up because it's just not going to happen. But it'll sit there and hum like that until it burns itself up. There's really only two methods to run a three-phase motor off single-phase power. That's to wrap a rope around it and get it spinning real fast, then connect the power, or use a variable frequency drive. And the next video is going to be talking about variable frequency drives. With single phase power you can wrap a rope around this and you can actually start it in either direction we're just going to be using clockwise facing it right now this is just a, like a lawnmower pull rope get it spinning you turn your power on it'll take off it'll sit here and run you can put a load on it or anything It's actually generating that third phase. So now, since this is running, you can come off your 220 and the third phase that's not hooked up, come off of those three wires, and run it out to another motor, and it'll run another motor. It's called a rotary, rotary phase converter. It's a simple way of getting three phase power out of single phase but you just have to start it. Now you can have a, like a, a small 120 motor here hooked to it and have it come on using a control relay. So it comes on, gets this spinning, then have another contactor turn this motor on, then it'll shut the small one off and it'll take off running. And you can still come off with your three wires here to uh, get your three phase power to run something else off of. Now, even though this is a, a five horsepower motor you're not gonna be able to run another five horsepower motor off of it you could probably run i'd say no more than a three horsepower or maybe a four horsepower under a light load so you just gotta you know, pay attention to that too because you're never going to get five horsepower out of what you run off of this if you're running something directly off this motor you should be able to get close to the same amount of horsepower it is going to pull a little bit more amperage off the two phases instead of three but it's not a it's, it's going to be close to one third more amperage on it uh, now i'm going to demonstrate run, spinning it the other way that was clockwise as you've seen i say clockwise facing this i like to get it on that keyway right there it helps kind of i'm just doing this to show you that it will start in either direction
first thing I'm going to show is the uh, wiring diagram they got here on the motor itself. After we talk about this, I'm going to put in an actual uh, diagram of how the windings are wired up either way. But we're running on low voltage here, which is 240. High voltage would be 480. As you can see, you got your first phase is 3 and 9, your second is 2 and 8, and your third is 1 and 7. Then you have 6, 5, and 4 tied together. This is a Y three phase system. So what this means, first of all you got your ground or your frame ground or your grounding just tied to your your metal just for safety all that does. There's no actual load on the ground even running on single phase like this. So the first phase I got wires 8 and 2 tied together here. And in the second phase, I got wires 7 and 1 tied together. And the third phase is numbers 9 and 3 tied together. So what I was saying, you, know, you got single phase coming in on these two. So when the motor is running after you start it, it's actually generating this phase. So you run wire off your black, off your red, and off of this to a second control panel or even just a breaker or another knife switch to run your load off of it once you get this started if you're going to power use it as a rotary phase converter this is the uh, four five and six tied together but this type of wiring the low voltage essentially puts the field windings in parallel so to speak you'll understand more when I show the y-shaped diagram when you hook it up to 480, you're putting the other field windings basically in series so it can handle the voltage. But uh, that's how that works. So this is a, your single three-phase wire. <laughs> I do have a four-conductor wire, too, for running off the variable frequency drive. And that's really your best method. Uh, you don't have to have a, a second motor like this being wasted as a converter. But the variable frequency drive, you can do a lot with it. That's a... It's actually probably a cheaper method, uh, too. This motor, if you buy it brand new from Granger, it's uh, almost $900. I got this motor real cheap off eBay due to the damage in shipping for uh, a little over $200. So it pays to shop around, too. And like I said, I just bought this just to experiment with. And... Uh, this is going to be the simplest of all the videos. Just something I wanted to share with you because uh, I don't have any three-phase videos until now. And if you didn't have a rope like it, you could probably put like a rubber wheel or something in a in a drill and just run it up against that shaft there and get it spinning. But you got to get it going pretty fast. I've seen some people just be able to spin it like that and took a power up and it'll take off. It just depends on the motor. This one wants some a little bit of speed before it'll take off. Okay, so I want to do one little add-on on this video. This is, uh, I bought this motor recently after making the first two videos. And I said, well, I'll go ahead and show this on the first video about hand starting one on single phase. And this is another three-phase motor, quarter horsepower Dayton. As you can see, I got it wired up here off single phase, coming off 220 here in the garage. The third phase is open. I don't have no power going in on it. I just tied it on here to keep that wire from touching something else. And this is a, you'll see all more about this in the third part. This is a forward off reverse box I made. And it's not going to do too much here, but I just want to show you. This is the way most three phase motors act on single phase power. The big green one carries on quite a bit when you first turn the power on it. This is what will happen on most three phase motors if you connect single phase power to it. I'm just going to sit there and hum like that and it will eventually burn itself up. I'm going to leave the knife switch on to keep the noise down, just use this. So that's what most of them will do. Now in the green one, i got to wrap a rope around there and get some serious speed before it will take off. This one ain't like that. A little slow starting like that, but it will finally take off. See the reverse don't, is not doing anything. It's spinning clockwise either direction. Because in single phase, it's not going to matter. As long as it's spinning a little bit, it'll take off. 
and also this works like uh, the other ones I've seen you can spin it by hand like that like I said I don't recommend doing none of this I'm just showing you what it'll do but it'll sit there and hum like that until it burns itself up get a little bit of spin on it it'll take off and again you can start in either direction it'll start in either direction it's got you can put a full load on there it'll have the same horsepower as the nameplate and even though this is a small one it's actually still generating that third phase one there so if you had like a real little tiny motor you could actually run it off of this and use this as a rotary phase converter but you'll see more about this and this switch in the third part on the rotary phase converters and phase rotation meters so now i'm going to disconnect all this and that's going to be the end of the first video on three phase the next video is going to be on a variable frequency drive so if you're interested in that we're going to talk about ramping up ramping down and uh, briefly talk about what i can do with the uh, uh, converter I, uh, inverter i picked out we'll go from there we're going to also we're going to be speeding it up to probably over twice as what it's rated for just to see what mainly see what it sounds like and see how the frequency drive works and everything so that's the that's the end of the pull start in a single phase motor <laughs> well guys if you got any questions about uh, this type of uh, three phase motor starting uh, feel free to leave a comment below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can so uh thanks for watching and i'm sorry i'm not going into into a whole lot of detail on the wiring but that's not the, the point of this video it's just showing you something that can be done this is going to be going in my experimental electrical video category on here and i'll make a separate three phase playlist too but so yeah that's all for this one so we'll catch you on the next one guys thanks for watching